Hi, welcome to the 3D Pendant. You may ask, what on earth is a melt tool? And why do I need one in my 3D Pen Studio? Sometimes the work done with the 3D Pen may be just the first step in the process. And then you move on to the next step of forming or finishing, for which you will need to re-soften the plastic with heat. There are tools out there made for wood burning, soldering and other heat related craft making. And all of these are useful. Except that all these processes are way too hot for our purposes. So it is important to get a tool with adjustable temperature control feature to avoid potentially burning our plastics. If you already own a tool like that, that is not adjustable. You can get one of these, so you can run it at a reduced percentage of its capacity. Even at the right temperature, the plastic residue left on the tooltip may eventually burn and discolor the project the next time you touch it. To avoid this, clean it continuously as you work on a piece of paper towel, cardboard, or if needed, even on a fine steel wall. Think of it as washing your brush as you go. The other thing beside temperature control you want to look for is that there is a wide variety of different tips available for the tool you are planning to get. Because every job may require a different tip. Whether you need to smooth or sculpt, weld parts together, cut something off, micro iron or fold. The list goes on. So if you need to know more, watch this video and then also this one. So which tip do you use for what? Let's leave that for a future video because our two minutes are up. 